I chose to do the Thrive program because I had, um, for the last 55 years of my life, um, been terrified, and I probably use that word advisedly, of being sick. Um, and along with that, I kind of had this anxiety as well about losing people I really cared about because they were the people that supported me or could support me when I was sick. So there was this kind of bound up feeling of being terrified of being sick and terrified of losing people I loved. Um, I've tried several different things over the years um, to help my what I now know is a metaphobia, um, and some of it was group CBT, um, hypnotherapy, range of things, um, counselling, and none of them really had had any impact. So I decided to buy a Thrive book. It sat in, on my shelf for two years, um, and I thought, right, one day I need to look at it. And it turned out I was going on holiday with my family um, in Africa, where I thought, if I'm going to be scared of being sick, I'm not going to enjoy this at all. So I thought, come on, let's do it. So I got the book out and started working through it. And I'm a bit of an extrovert, so I know that I really like to, um, oh, talk things and ask questions and get some feedback. So I um, started the book and thought, oh, I'm not sure I'm asking, answering the questions in the right way, but this all sounds really interesting. I really believe this is going to help. <clears throat> so I found um, a Thrive consultant in my area, Cara, who's been amazing. And um, she has taken me through the program. So eight weeks on and post my Africa trip, sporting a little bit of a tan because it is still only March and we've had some cold weather in this country. Um, post Africa trip, I'm feeling so incredibly different. Um, and my, my fear of being sick is much less. I can't tell you how the process of understanding how my unhelpful thinking and my worry about what other people would think about me if I was sick had a massive impact on my fear. Um, so I set myself some goals before I went away and when I started the programme, and I've actually achieved most of them. I still have a little bit of work in progress with my, um, as I call it, vomit phobia, which is so much less now. Um, I feel my degree of anxiety around the thought of being sick or actually being sick and would I cope with being sick has reduced by I would say at least 70% which is phenomenal given I've spent 55 years panicking about going on buses anybody throwing up in front of me um, and now really I'm not sure that I would be too worried at all in fact my grandson sat with a sick bag next to me on the plane when we were away and I didn't love it I have to be honest, but I thought, do you know, if he throws up into this bag, I'll cope. Um, the other thing I was really anxious about was my husband, who'd had a heart attack a number of years ago, and I've always been totally hypervigilant about his health and what he eats and how he behaves and is he getting enough exercise. And this program has helped me to just diminish the level of anxiety around that in a way that I would never have expected would be possible. And it's all about um, my ability to feel that I could cope if things happen that I never thought I would be able to cope with. And the other thing it's helped me with hugely as well is my level of self-esteem, um, which so I wouldn't have thought it was that low, but when I did the questionnaire, it turned out it was actually quite low. And my level of social anxiety in certain areas, especially around vomiting and the thought of being alone, was very high. And um, so my social anxiety has come down, my self-esteem has gone up, and um, all of my kind of levels of anxiety about the things that really caused me problems over the years seem to be, you know going away and um, I know I will always now have the ability to work on my anxiety levels and reduce them if I'm in a situation where they rise again. So 
I cannot be, oh, I cannot say strongly enough how much this program has helped. So, um, yeah, that's basically where I'm at now. So watch this space. I mean, it could be 100% in a couple of weeks' time, but it's getting very close now. Thank you, Caroline.